arthrofibrosis after a surgery or an injury can be really difficult to get rid of and be painful. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you a simple three-step process that can help you get rid of arthrofibrosis so you can get back to enjoying your life without pain. Hi, I'm Coach Todd with feelgoodlife.com where we teach people over 50 how to get healthy, pain-free joints. Now, just a reminder, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you'll be alerted every time we release new videos to help people over 50 learn exercises and stretches and other natural techniques to have healthy, amazing, feel-good joints. The three-step process for getting rid of arth arthrofibrosis that I'm about to teach you has been used by hundreds of clients after a knee surgery or an injury to help reduce the arthrofibrosis around their knee. The first step to getting rid of arthrofibrosis within our process is to flush the area with nutrients and heat. So you can go ahead and get either a moist compress or a bean bag. I use uh, this standard bean bag um, and you can put it in the microwave until it gets hot. Make sure it doesn't get too hot so that it burns your skin, but you want it nice and warm. And then what you do is go ahead and place your knee and leg up. I've got this resting on a stool. You can go ahead and be sitting on your couch with your leg up. Now with that moist compress or that heat pack, uh, go ahead and place that over the entire area around your knee. And one of the benefits of having a little bit of a larger pack or a bean bag is so that it can drape over because there's muscles that surround your knee. And so what you can do is place that over the entire area around your knee. And if you think of arthrofibrosis as like a, to use an analogy, like a city, and the city has been blocked off, right? There's scar tissue and there's um, just fibrosis, which is dense fibrous tissue around your knee. Think of that city as being blocked off and there's roadblocks. And what this does is it starts sending nutrients and blood flow to that city so that it, it can open up. So you wanna do that and place that heat pack right on your knee for about five minutes before you move on to step number two. Step number two is thigh plucking and shaking. So let me go ahead and show that to you. I've got my stool here again. I've removed my hot compress. Now, now my area is nice and warm. Now what you wanna do is you take that thigh, say I've got arthrofibrosis around my knee, and what you can do is you can pick that thigh muscle up or that quad muscle and you pluck it. So I notice that I'm doing it like this. You could do it with two hands if you wanted as well. And again, to use that city analogy, remember there's roadblocks and we started to tear down those roadblocks with that moist heat. Now what this is doing is using some, a little bit more force, battering rams to knock down some of those, those roadblocks. So you're taking it and you're taking that thigh and you're plucking it. So grab it, pluck it. You can do it semi-vigorously. You can do it in different areas and you may notice some redness forming. That's just showing that the tissue is responding. More blood flow is going to that area, just like this. So you can do thigh plucking 20 to 30 seconds or so, and then thigh shaking. So you can place both hands on either side of your thigh around your knee, just slightly above your patella or kneecap. And then you start shaking it like this. Again, this is ideally done vigorously. You wanna do this vigorously, shake it just like this, and you'll feel the thigh and any areas of fibrotic tissue, that dense tissue, loosen up. It actually feels really good, even if you don't have arthrofibrosis. This is a great technique for reducing knee pain. You can even alternate, go back to thigh plucking, and then thigh shaking. If your hands get a little bit tired, just relax them for a moment and then go back. And then back to shaking. So I typically recommend about 20 to 30 seconds of uh, thigh plucking and then 20 to 30 seconds of thigh shaking, but you're more than welcome to do it longer. So that's step number two in the arthrofibrosis process. Let's move on to step number three. Okay, so the third step in the arthrofibrosis method, the three-step method to get rid of arthrofibrosis, is to do three-part knee 
isometric extension and flexion. And so really that's a, using an isometric exercise to strengthen and break up that tissue that's very fibrotic. So exercise, especially isometrics, work very well to help break that up. Let me teach you a simple technique that you can do from home. So the first one is um, knee extensions, but it's you're gonna do an isometric style. So isometric again means no movement. So you're not actually putting strain on the joint, but you're strengthening the muscles around the leg. You wanna sit in a, a, a chair. It could be, you know, a chair you can move next to a wall. You're actually gonna be using a wall as a brace uh, to make it an isometric. So you wanna position yourself about two feet or so away from the wall. And there's gonna be three parts to this exercise. You're gonna to wanna to start with one leg at a time and you can move on to the neck to the other to the other, other leg afterwards. And you, you wanna position yourself so that your knee is at a 90 degree angle. Mine's about at a 90 degree angle. My stool is actually a little bit uh, too high for me. Ideally, I had a little bit of a lower stool. And, um, but you know, you've gotta work with what, you, what you're doing. We're actually traveling around the country in our RV. So this is where I'm doing this video. So uh, you wanna push, make sure your knee's at a, a 90 degree angle or about a 90 degree angle and push your toes into that wall. And so ideally you're using shoes so you don't, you're not hurting your toes. Push your toes into the wall and you're gonna feel your thigh muscle contract. You shouldn't feel the pressure on your knee. You should, you should feel the pressure right in your thigh. So push against that wall for about 10 seconds. And then what you're gonna do is position the chair stool a little bit further away so the angle is more than a 90 degree angle. And then you're gonna push your toes against that wall. So see how my knee is not at a 90 degree angle, it's a little bit more. You're gonna hold for 10 seconds and then do it one more time, but your knee is quite a bit further than a 90 degree angle. So why do it in three different angles? Well, the reason is because your muscle fibers are elongating or, or uh, tightening at a different positions. So you're actually strengthening and breaking up a different part of the muscle tissue in your leg. So you've got three parts, 90 degree, a little bit more than 90 degree, and then further, and you're using the wall as a brace. Hold each of them for 10 seconds, and then you can move on to the next, or to, to your other leg. Now that was knee extension. Now I want to show you knee flexion. So that's uh, very similar. You're going to be using the ground this time as well as a stool. So you want to place, position yourself a little bit off of the stool. Make sure you've got a sturdy stool. You don't need the wall for this one. You're using the floor. And I'm almost at, my knee is almost at straight, straight um, angle. This would be straight. This is slightly bent. You want to be strengthening the back part of your thigh. So you're actually going to dig your heel into the ground and you'll feel the back part of your thigh tighten up. Hold for 10 seconds, release, and then position your heel a little bit closer. Again, we're working in getting different parts of the muscle fiber when you uh, are doing the exercise. So you tighten up again, 10 seconds. It doesn't need to be at 100% of your effort. You can do it at about um, 50 to 75 is perfectly fine. And then for 10 seconds, hold up for 10 seconds. And then the last one is you can actually use the bottom of the stool or the chair. And you actually just push your heel against that stool. If it, if it slides, that's perfectly fine. Reposition your heel and dig your heel right into that stool. So you've got two different exercises there. You've got a leg extension and a leg flexion, and you're doing three parts to each of those exercises, holding for 10 seconds each exercise or each rep. If you found this video helpful, go ahead, hit like on the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you're looking for more exercises that you can do for your knee, go ahead and click the video link here where you can do three gentle knee exercises from bed. Thanks so much for joining me at feelgoodlife.com and I'll see you in the next video.